Hot Off The Presses, Part 2. Hi, I'm Gary Luvisi, and we're going to look at a new issue of Paperback Parade that just came out. Paperback Parade number 115, and has various articles and uh, a lot of cover illustrations, all in color, over 100 pages on uh, various vintage collectible paperbacks of all time, all types. And this issue, we look at um, the, uh, the books done by William Hamling. Uh, Hamling published early, early sleaze paperbacks in the 19... Around 1959 to 1966 or 67, and uh, many. The, in, the interesting thing about about uh, this issue and the article that I've written for this issue is that I've taken all of the uh, writers, the the, the well-known, famous writers that wrote Slees for him under pseudonyms, and they're all listed in here. The books that they wrote under what pen names? Uh, this is something that uh, there's been, the information has been out there in various places. A lot of people, uh, and I give them, I give uh, credit to the, a lot of the researchers that allowed me to uh, to uh, use some of their information in this article uh, when I put it together. But I felt that it needed to be all put together in one place. So what we have in this article in this issue is, the so first issue is uh, one, one of the early books in the series is in the, in the Nightstand series, and then there were so many other series, Midnight Readers and Pillar Books, Sundown Readers. They had a whole set of them, and they were the pinks and yellows, I call them, because you can see the spines on all the books were pink and yellow, with a few exceptions, but generally. And in the article I show, there's a picture of William Hamling, and here's a, just a group of uh, the, the various books, and you see all the pinks and yellow spines. They look nice on the shelf. They're pretty attractive. And um, the interesting thing is that these books were written by some of the most famous science fiction and crime writers of the era. And they would become all uh, icons of uh, those genres and uh, very collectible authors. And the authors are... Uh, Rob, uh, uh, Lawrence Block, Donald Westlake in crime, uh, Robert Silverberg in science fiction, uh, Harlan Ellison, uh, Evan Hunter in crime, um, um, Harry Whittington, uh, and Clyde Allison, and many, many others are all listed in here in these early sleaze books, which they had sexy covers and sexy titles, but there was nothing explicit in these books at all. Uh, and that's why they have the, the term sleaze, because they kind of look sleazy, but they were really, there's nothing explicit in them. Uh, this is early in the early days of, uh, of William Hamling's uh, books. So these are some of the books that are in here. Here's, here's a few of the books, um, just to give you this is $20 Lust by Lawrence Block. This is uh, Las Vegas Lust, Dean Hudson. So they all wrote under pseudonyms. Lawrence Block wrote some books as Andrew Shaw, certain books. And uh, Las Vegas Night by Dean Hudson was um, was Evan Hunter. The thing with, with some of the books, though, is so Andrew Shaw was... Uh, Lawrence Block on certain titles, and that's the thing that the article in here tells you what titles are Lawrence Block and what, and, and just gives you the, the titles that are, not the other ones. Uh, Sex Gang is the one book that uh, Harlan Ellison wrote as, per, as Paul Merchant. These are all, by the way, uh, nightstand books, and there's many series, and it has a, a lot of the other writers are also in the series. And then here's some Robert Silverberg books. He wrote as Don Elliott. It's Gang Girl, Flesh Peddlers, and Convention Girl. So, science fiction, uh, classic science fiction author Robert Silverberg wrote many, many uh, books uh, as Don Elliott for uh, for Hamling's uh, what I call the Pinks and Yellows. As 
a lot of imprints. There's about a dozen, ten or a dozen imprints, and uh, but they all have the pink and yellow spine. They're all short size paperbacks uh, from the early 60s, and so they all fit into that kind of area. And what I did was, I, again, I took the information uh, that a lot of people have written over the years in many different diverse areas, uh, different, different magazines and books and different places and uh, some online things and all over and uh, for my own collection and put, put it all together to kind of uh, put it into one cohesive thing in Paperback Parade where it uh, gives you all the information about the various authors, the company, how it, uh, how it, how it was run, uh, Earl Kemp was the editor, the first editor was Harlan Ellison, or Earl Kemp took over, and has a lot of covers in, in shown from the various books of all of the, uh, this is a Harry Whittington, uh, the writers that wrote for these, for these books. And also there's other, um, there's the uh, Trilogy of Crime by Robert Finnegan, there's uh, uh, a tribute to Ron Goulart in this issue, uh, as well as a, a look at his John Easy Private Eye books, and uh, a whole lot of other stuff that uh, I think you'll enjoy. Um, the issue is out now from Gryphon Books. It's uh, $15, trade paperback, uh, 100 pages, full color. And I uh, hope you enjoy this look at the new issue of Paperback Parade out now. And uh, I think this article is really something that's much needed in the, uh, the sleaze area of collecting so that all of these books and the authors, especially the, the well-known collectible authors, have been, uh, have been identified and their books have been identified. So uh, with that, I'm just going to give you a uh, thanks for looking and hope you uh, enjoyed this look and we'll take a look at Paperback Parade and uh, give us a thumbs up and a like. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for looking.